here's my tiny home hacks from Walmart. So y'all asked me about it. This is the um, table that I was telling you about that I showed you that everybody's like, it folds up, tell me more about it. Here it is. So see, this is the table. It's the multifunctional adjustable table that's 17 inches wide by 17 inches deep and it adjusts in height. And so the price at my Walmart is $16.88. My favorite, these are the mainstay cubes. Again, they're just like Ikea, but I love that you can order them online and they get sent to you. So I'm actually going to go and look to see if I can find the, or this is the Better Homes and Gardens. I'm going to go look to see if I can find a mainstay to fit on top of this for my living room to give a little bit more, some more shelving in one of my spots. But they come in different colors and they have way more options online. These are the ones that I use in all of my Better Homes and Gardens. So you want to get the Better Homes and Gardens containers. So these are the ones that are kind of throughout my living room. But to change up the texture and to change up the room, I use this like kind of um, woven one in my kitchen. But I've had a problem because the cat keeps clawing at it so it's become a problem. But these are $9 a piece where those little ones, those other ones are $6 a piece. I've just started getting an interest in these here lately to cause some more order. So I'm gonna get some of these actually for the house. But I also wanna say, watch out because the mainstays are for a different size and they're for the mainstay um, containers. But I also use those too. And I'm actually looking at the mainstay for a side table and a couple other spots. But this is the selection of those containers that I use in my tiny house. My favorite is having the wood floors, but I do like to have carpet, and I can get a four by six carpet for 20 bucks, under $20. And then um, what I like to do with this is, like the kids got sick when we had the norovirus come through the house, I throw it away because I'm just gonna get another one for 20 bucks and I don't have to worry about cleaning it that good. But we've had a lot of success with these of these these work out really good just to add reflection and to reflect light and i like them because you can put them on the back of a door i just screw them right into the back of the door so these are one of my favorites and they're five bucks i mean yes i know we're doing we're doing tiny house dec decor and organizing on the cheap but this is a favorite okay i don't own these but these have been on my list so many times and like there's my favorite color um the reason I like the idea of these is that since a lot of time spent in their beds and it's kind of an easy place to veg out, it gives a more comfortable place to be in their beds and kind of make that more of an inviting place to have these kind of backrest pillows. The thing I like are these containers because of the fact that you can slip them underneath the couch, it gives me more storage. I love these small sets too for 10 bucks. They work out really good. And then also the 10 pack. I like these, especially because they're in my color. Well, these aren't, but um, I have some from before. Check out this tiny like little shelf. I mean, it's not big at all. See it? It's super tiny. Um, it's 250 pounds. I wish I had the dimensions. Let's see. Here it is, here it is. 30 inches high, 13 and a half inches back and then 23 inches wide. I actually, this is my drying rack. No joke, I have those little mats I'll show you here in a second. This is what I use as a drying rack because it fits because my sink is in that weird corner. Totally love this. This is my $20 drying rack. Yes, folks, full seriousness. Okay, so I have creative um, dishware. And actually, um, in the way that we do drying racks, and I actually am using this as my silverware drying rack and sometimes silverware holder. 96 cents. Got to love it. I'm getting two. Better than Dollar Tree right here. And they have colors. They actually have these up here. Um, I like those. I don't know. It's just so big. I thought about getting one of these just to hold silverware for drying, but I'm going to go with this. Of course I'm pointing out Pioneer Women, they're my favorite, but these like drying racks underneath that um, shelf. Like I said, I use this as a drying rack. And then here are the mats. I don't think my mats 
I don't know if I got to show you the mats. So here they are. So here's the mats I use, and then we can change them out and wash them. I did just, you know, like I got home. So I just used this, like I said, to um, dry. I could put this up a little higher, and that'd probably make it easier. But that's my drying rack. And we have these like little S hooks that really help out a lot too. Um, I take this one up at wall, um, Bell's Outlet, like one of those, because I can put the uh, plates in there and that would be more helpful because they don't really set real well. But see, and I lean a little bit to the side. That's just how we do it. I have to just plug this one because this is a $10 end table. And this is pretty much equivalent to what I bought at Ikea. I mean, I don't own it any longer, but as equivalent, you have the wood grain, the black, and the white. So I've, I've had these many times. And in fact, see, it's called Parsons. Can you see that? Pick, see, and they have my rustic oak, which is kind of that gray look. Ooh, I like that, and I can get it as a coffee table. I might have to go look at that online. This one is also another favorite, the collapsible ottoman. I have had two, um, they lasted about two years for us before the kids destroyed them. I used them as a toy box and also a seat that's worked out really well. Um, right now I don't have one because they just started feeling in the way. So I'm not ready to replace them at this time, but for having finally having a coffee table, they work out really good is one of these. We don't have a lot of storage. I went with the cheaper one. I actually had to take a pull out of it in order to fit. But for $15, it has like freed up and made my bathroom and my shower feel so much bigger just having that, this shower caddy pull tension thing. I know they got some prettier ones. I just went with the basic. A bathroom, space saver, the thing over the toilet, huge help too. We have one of those and the kids that's been there since we got, we moved in. And the nice part about those is they're cheap. Super cheap. Might be a no brainer. These over the door hooks, everywhere. I just put them everywhere I could. Almost every door has an over the door hook. And this little doodad is a lifesaver. We keep these, every toilet has one of these for that extra roll of toilet paper. I like this one, but I ran into the issue as, I don't know, we went with that one. I, probably because it's three bucks. There you go. I tried this over the sink at the house um, in the mobile home because we have a really, really tiny like little vanity that now just sits in the storage place as a place to be like, I don't want to deal with that. But I love these little baskets that you can get that go on the door. I actually use these in the kitchen. And that's like my extra storage there. So they work out really good. Seriously, do not forget to buy these. This is like, this is how things stay in the wall. Unfortunately, because being in Florida and being in that little mobile home, um, the humidity is really bad and anything adhesive I put on the walls never stays. This right here stays every time. So grab one of these. Make sure you always have them. Everything you put on, put it in with an anchor. My next thing is these coaxial cables. I use these things a lot. And what I use them for is to keep cords from hanging around. I just put holes in my walls. I'm a hole in the wall person. You might not be for you, but that's what works for me. So I get these holes these little jokers in the coaxials. I mean, the dollar seventy-seven. I can keep cords under control. Yeah, so depending on your humidity, these may or may not work. I have a really humid here in Florida and the way things are. These things will not stay on. I've bought tons of these and just wasted my money. I now buy everything. I just screw it into the wall. Laundry hamper. Since it's a large amount of us, we have. I've narrowed us down to three hampers. We used to have more, so I keep three hampers. Unfortunately, this is the best option they have here. Go for the narrowest one so it doesn't stand out. What I've found with the big ones, I've moved them out. They just are always in the way. So I keep three dirty ones for the eight of us and one clean hamper. And then the folded stuff goes into there and then I can keep switching my other dirty ones out. I have to stop and talk about these. They're three bucks. I love them because they're a full size towel and it's so easy to color code the kids. I love the $3 color towels. They, I do 
I've picked them up from time to time. Yeah, we're not a matchy-matchy house. My favorite sets of hangers, these five are about a buck. You can get two for a buck at um, Dollar Tree, and I found 25 for, or 20 or 10 for $2.50 at Ollie's, so get that. This is a favorite of mine. This sucker is so nice for all of my like cami style dresses and you get a two pack for five bucks and you can hang, I'm, I have all of mine on two hangers. My other favorite one of course are the pants. This totally helps. Kind of like a no brainer. So I use them to raise the bed up and then because of that I can keep drawers. I don't actually have the drawers from here. I got the drawers from Ikea. Um, so I use those to hold a lot of stuff so that works. And then also, these like little drawer organizers work out super, super good. But of course, my drawers are so much deeper than these. Next hack is get an electric cord with USB ports because our outlets are in different places and are kind of funky. And having the ability to have um, just some USB cord just a huge difference and you know this one's how many feet three feet of cord is usually pretty good because of course my furniture always ends up in front of the electrical outlets the shoe rack I like this one I just got this one for my closet makeover um, I have the over the door shoe rack one but um, we use it for like toys and things like that I won't put one in my room right now for the simple fact that I want to shut the doors and I don't want to see anything. The lighting possible. This is what I have. I like it because I got two lights, one stand, less floor space. So this is a huge help for us. Dirt is a big issue. Definitely get mats at every door to scrape and clean your shoes. Have one on each side of the door. Trust me, you'll need it. All right, grab one of these tiny little vacuums. I mean, we have a big vacuum, but we ran into, we stopped using it because it was too cumbersome. So we just got one of these like little tiny vacuums and now we're up more up to using it a whole lot more. Yeah, so I totally killed my battery up in Walmart, but those are my Walmart hacks. Um, if you have any that are similar that you found to be really useful, if you're living 700 square feet with, you know, you're living under the 100 square foot per person threshold, what are your little tips and tricks that you can just easily go pick up at Walmart? I have another one. I have to get it on Walmart online. Um, but actually, here it is. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about right here. You can't really see it well. It's the Closet Mate 12 inch. It came, well, not this one. I had to get a short pull for this. But it came with three of these long ones. So I used two here. I didn't use it exactly the way it specifies. But you have to go on walmart.com to pick it up. It's the 12 inch closet bait organizer. But hey, remember I showed you this? So anyways, what are your tips and tricks to living organized, yet small and uncluttered that can easily be purchased? Because I mean, I do have things that I've bought from Dollar Tree and I buy from um, Ikea to keep some sanity. It's, I can't get it all at Walmart, but you know, as much as I can, I try because that's just easy for me.